Talk to us about sort of your expectation for this earnings season and this idea that strategists aren't yet guiding low enough. Yeah, I think uh, it's going to be a rocky ride uh, for investors. And again, um, that really comes down to really tough comps. Last year, uh, 2021, we saw earnings growth near 50% year over year. This year, it's expected to be 10. Um, and last uh, year in this quarter, the earnings were in excess of 87 percentage points. So um, needless to say, anything year over year is going to look tough. But I think expectations have started to calm down. In fact, five Five out, out of 11 sectors are projected to have profit declines year over year. Obviously, the biggest culprit being the financials, and we see those earnings results come through on Thursday. And majority of that, again, is really driven by loan loss provisions, which the delta between the quarter over quarter of what was released versus what is going to provision for is near $13 billion. So it's a huge delta that we will work through. But again, on a quarterly basis, it's, it's a tough. Talk to us about where we are on the growth versus value debate and what sits in as growth at the moment, Yana. Of course, when you're focusing in on that particular area, we had seen a bit of love suddenly for the growth stocks last week, and then it's faded. Um, speaking of weather, right, just wait and it'll change. I think as investors, particularly now um, at Morgan Stanley Investment Management, what we're focused on is really seeking value. It's not about value or growth. And when we think about the opportunities within our sort of larger cap portfolios, we think about three buckets of opportunities. It really is defenses that we think will continue to do their job, particularly utilities, because we think they're really coming into this defensive growth opportunities given this transition that we're seeing in the energy space and continued investment in the grid. The second bucket is what I would call hybrid and healthcare because of the diversity of the industries within the healthcare space. There is a valuation disparity that you can play in the pharma, for example, that's still trading 14% uh, discount to the market with really nice dividend yield and steady uh, top line and earnings growth, yeah. as well as life sciences, a little bit of a higher growth, higher volatile um, um, area, but it's seen its multiple compressed in excess of 25%. And I would close um, my, my bucket with the third one uh, being technology. I know it's sort of the epicenter of the beta and cyclicality trade, but I think you're seeing a lot of value, uh, particularly within the semi-semi equipment space where the cash flow yields um, that are spitting off those companies uh, currently are in excess of the market. Um, so to us, again, if you're looking for that Garpy nature growth at a reasonable price, um, those are the key innovation sort of um, um, mosaics uh, that we think will continue to be enablers. And at this point, um, for a long-term investor, we think they're intriguing.